uh, compliance is uh, really important uh, for the CFOs, I think. And also uh, for my role, if I, uh, if I connect with my role, so I'm heading a country and heading a country uh, is like a completely you have to ensure the local compliances as well because the country has its own regulations and uh, you do not have the expertise, uh, expert legal teams to uh, assist you instantly. So uh, for this purpose, what I do is that I, I, will, I will take the help of the technology also and build all the compliance seat and ensure that uh, it's, it's uh, taking place, uh, whether it's related to local laws, taxes, customs, excise. Uh, and because uh, if, if you are not complied, then you might get, uh, get a notice from the uh, company or government. And also as we are uh, dealing with the food industries, so there are a lot of compliances related to the food, uh, like it's a, com uh, it's a expiry of the foods or, or something uh, related to this. So we have to be very cautious on this and uh, we make sure that uh, we are 100% compliant. Yes, of course, uh, technology is the most important things for the finance, uh, whether it's related to the ERP software uh, like uh, SAP, uh, Navisions. So like for front aid, uh, we are using Navision. Uh, we are directly related with the customers. So you use POS, right? So you have to, uh, you have to get on the real time. And for the country like Nepal, uh, there is a regulation that every sales uh, should be reflected to the government's portal. So we have to be ensured that it's, it's, it's going on the real time uh, process and obviously uh, to the use of SAP was very crucial that uh, what is the projections and what kind of uh, uh, what kind of supply chain process you are uh, ensuring so to minimize the wastage and uh, expiry I'm greatly immensely um, grateful uh, to business world to take these initiatives I think uh, for finance uh, it's a, it's a really motivating and uh, I think that uh, uh, as a winning, I think, as a finance, uh, as a CFO, you are not limited only to the finance or accounting. Uh, you have to be a holistic understanding of the overall business, uh, which laid down the foundation for becoming a, a CFO. And these kind of events uh, will obviously boost you to become a, a future CFO. Uh, this is a well-organized and uh, I have a lot of takeaways. Uh, there are a, a very fruitful discussions. Uh, the panel discussions was really, really wonderful. And I'm taking a lot of initiative and I'm planning to implement that how can we change and, uh, and make uh, differences in my organization.